One thing that photosynthesis is similar to is a factory. They take separate products and combine them to produce both the wanted product and waste. In a factory, they would take their products from the stores that they have their need supplies and transport the supplies to the main factory. In a plant, water would be brought up into the plant's main factory, quote unquote, where it would be mixed with carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide would be brought to the main factory through the stomachs. In the factory, the products would be mixed through melting, mixing, or some other process after which the factory's finished product would be made along with an extra waste which would be transported to an apt disposal facility. Back in our plant, the CO2 and H2 join into simple bonds to create a food that, pl that the plant can use and the energy needed for the combination comes from sunlight. Finally, the plant has a product it wants, a food product, glucose, which is a simple sugar and a waste product six pairs of oxygen molecules. Deforestation is a common challenge to the survival of numerous animal and plant species, but how does it result in global warming? Part of our atmosphere is made of CO2, carbon dioxide, which is good at keeping in the warmth of the sun. Plants use carbon dioxide to produce glucose, while animals release it through breathing. If there aren't enough plants to use this released CO2, it builds up in the atmosphere and global temperatures rise. This is a phenomenon known as global warming. Science is a wonderful gift that has shown us that preserving our plants is what we need to keep this world a better place. It is only right that we try to preserve the animals and plants of this world from the danger of deforestation and global warming.